what's it feel like to be 60? You're just days into the 60th year. Mm. Um, what's life like? I suppose, uh, Why? Uh, what is life like for you? Years old. He what's he doing? He's, you have two other children. But what has been your kind of mission with those three kids? What, how have you, what kind of a father have you been to them? Go back to the memoir for a moment. Yes. Where, where are you in that? When's it due, and how much time have you spent on it, and what's your approach to it? Uh, so, but, but give us the approach you're making. I mean, hey, tell us one thing that's going to be in there that we don't know. The, your first wife, you were married to her for how long? And where she lived today? Your second wife, Carol Blue. Was blue. And what were the circumstances? I, I, I want to, speaking of how you look, I'm going to go back to 83, our first interview on book notes together in 83. And you have this? See, yeah, I want, I want you to see what you look like. Let's, let's run this. I said that was book notes. That wasn't. It was a call-in oh, show. Yes. Uh, and uh, that was one of the first times we talked about so it. why are you an American? Done. Did you vote in this last election? I did. You want to tell us who you voted for? I voted. Why? Did you read his two books? No. What did you think of them? Well, I, uh, I, I don't think I'd ever expected you to be a fellow at the Hoover Institution. How did that happen in, at Stanford? And politically, how did that happen? Were you still a fellow there? I'm a Here, Mark Thiessen's a uh, Hoover fellow. Hey, let's listen to what he said about you this morning. Is Where that, is that? Is that the porpoise like figure of. Um, that is you. Uh, that's What's this feel like right here when they're pouring water down? Well, it feels. You're yeah, just now saying, I've had enough. I think that's and they also mean. say it, they had, uh, did it hundreds of times. Yeah. So put all this in the context right now. W what do you think of where the Obama administration is on this, the memos, and, and, you know, what would you do about the past? And so right now, should, what should this town do about what happened in the Bush administration? Your, your reaction to seeing yourself. I think I left. What's your relationship with your brother these days? Um, and he lives where? He lives And what was his reaction when you found out that your mother was Jewish? Well, Why? So your grandmother was Jewish. My, so, so, so. But your grandmother's Jewish? Yes. And that, and then your, that would make your mother Jewish, and then yes, exactly. how, how much of what you say is calculated? I really wanted to ask you though, when there was an occasion where you and someone else really were—I don't—the word "mad" doesn't describe it—but you were furious with one another, or you really had a confrontation that was personal and serious and deep. You know, just in 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 life. I mean, people that watch television never know how much of it's a gimmick. But, but back to the other part of the question, though, what's the biggest most serious feud you've had with any individual. You hate him. I've said Have that. you ever met him? How many copies of hardback did you sell with? And, and the title is God is Not Great, it's now in paperback, and what kind of sales do you expect of this? Oh. Why? Well, did you ever believe in God? No. Did your parents? Yeah. What about your children? I want to show you a picture that uh, was in our first book notes book right here. Yes. I don't know if you remember that. When I was picture. still a smoker. Yeah, that's in Timberlake's bar. I remember it very well. It is near DuPont Circle. And yeah. if you'll notice, this is in the middle of the day. You've got your computer there. You've got a martini on the bar. And you've got a cigarette in your mouth. Uh, Would you do that today? No. What about the drinking? And how, how do you... I mean, th this is a, almost a, a question for a classroom. But how do you make your money? On a, in other words, if somebody's watching saying, boy, I'd love to live the life of Christopher Hitchens. And, there must be. <laughs> now, but when they, you know, I'd love to have that life of words yes. and writing and speaking and all that. How do you, and can you make a decent living doing what you do? So How many speeches a year would you get? Well, since, this uh, book, if, you, if there were 300 and some thousand copies of this and you pick up a, two, three bucks a copy, that's pretty good money. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that, is that, what um, about your book? I'm sure uh, that it, it causes controversy where you go on Mother Teresa. Did that sell? Does your wife work? I wish. Have you ever gotten on your Wikipedia site. I just want to, I, I got on and it's 20 pages long. Uh-huh. And, but, and you know how this works? So I just wanted you to hear what people said seven, six years ago. Yeah. May 18th, 2003, first item. Well, let me read to you what it's today. That's okay. gone. They okay, have to fine. go back and say, today it's, and then they quote one of your old friends, Alexander Coburn. What, what's your relationship with him now? Where do you fit 9-11 in events that have happened in world history. I mean, how, would, how is this going to fit 25 years from now? One of the questions that I, I know I used to l love to get the audience's reaction to is, 
on our Colin show, is America the greatest country in the world? Huh. Or is how, what, how would you answer? With spot. What's the flag in your lapel? That, We've got just a, about a minute left. Uh, you always traveling. Where's your next trip? 